Hey guys, um, I just wanted to wrap up a little bit, so let's talk a little bit about the continued fraction of the square root of n. So first, let's n let n be just a square free um, integer, positive integer. So that just means that um, n is not divisible by n, the square of any prime. So p squared does not divide n for all primes p. In such a case, you, if you let a be the um, the integer part of the square root of n, so the least integer or the greatest integer less than root n, we have um, this inequality. Right. In other words, uh, a plus root n is going to be purely periodic, and so in that case, the square root of n we can write it as first term a and then a repeating part. And this repeating part either uh, kind of repeats in the middle, so it does ai twice and then goes back down to a1. So it starts a1, a2 up to ai, and then goes ai back down to a. And the final term is 2a, the, the first term. Or um, and it, it doesn't repeat the middle, the middle term. It just goes up to ai and then back down to a1 followed by 2a. Okay. And these ais and stuff come from the repeating fraction of a plus root n, or the continued fraction of a plus root n, which is either one of two, two forms, either 2a followed by a1 up to ai, and then ai back down to a1, or 2a followed by a1 up to ai, and then ai minus 1 down to a1. Okay. Let's just do a quick example. Okay, we can prove this using what we know. And, um, let's just do an example. Let's try um, the square root of 15. We take a to be 3. That's the, um, that's the integer part of square root of 15. Okay, in other words, uh, you know, a squared is 9, but uh, 4 squared is 16, which is bigger than the square root of 15, so that's not hard to see. And we take alpha to be 3 plus square root of 15. So we know that the, the continued fraction for alpha is going to be repeating. So let's try and find the continued fraction for alpha. Okay. Um, the integer part of alpha is just going to be twice 2 times 3 because the integer part of 3 is 3 and the integer part of root 15 is 3. So we can write alpha as 6 plus 1 over alpha 1. Okay. In other words, let's solve for alpha 1. So 1 over alpha 1 is going to be square root 15 minus 3. We um, rationalize the denominator. We get a uh, 3 plus root 15 over 6, or in other words, a half plus root 15 over 6. Okay, so that's alpha 1. And then we, we're trying to find out the continued fraction for alpha 1 now, so we write it as its um, integer part plus 1 over alpha 2. Um, I just uh, typed, like, in, in Sage, I typed in square root of 15.0, and it told me, like, the approximate value of root 15, I use that to figure out the approximate value of alpha 1, and it has integer part 1. So now I write alpha 1 plus, alpha 1 equals 1 plus 1 over alpha 2. Solving for alpha 2, you get 1 over alpha 1 minus 1. Okay. And if you, and if you um, carefully rationalize, or carefully um, eliminate the denominator, you get uh, negative a half minus root 15 over 6 divided by a quarter minus 15 over 36. Well, that just is negative 6 over 36. In other words, negative 1 6, and then, you know, then, in other words, the numerator is multiplied by negative 6, and you get 3 plus root 15. In other words, alpha 2 is equal to alpha. Okay. So since alpha 2 is equal to alpha, alpha 1 is just 1 plus 1 over alpha, and alpha is just 6 plus 1 over alpha 1. So alpha is 6 plus 1 over alpha 1, which is 6 plus 1 over 1 plus 1 over alpha. You see that um, immediately the continued fraction expansion for alpha is 6, 1 repeating. Well, let's use that to figure out the continued fraction of root 15. Well, root 15 is just alpha minus 3. Alpha is 6 plus 1 over alpha 1, so alpha minus 3 is 3 plus 1 over alpha 1. Alpha 1 is just 1 plus 1 over alpha, so we have 3 plus 1 over 1 plus 1 over alpha. 
and alpha is a continued fraction of like 6, 1, 6, 1, and so on. And we see that the continued fraction for root 15 has to be a 3 followed by 1, 6 repeating. Okay, um, that's just a little example. So um, feel free to try it yourself just for some other square free numbers, like try it for, I don't know, just pick some numbers if you want. Um, you know, you could try 17, uh, 18 is not, you could try it for, you know, 14 or, or, or anything. Just pick your favorite. Good. Uh, anyways, thank you for watching. Bye.